Adam and Eve. That Adam and Eve came from Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ is the creator of Adam. Jesus Christ, the one who created the heavens and the earth in the beginning, with the word of his power, he spoke. Oh, it says wisdom was there in the beginning. Wisdom was joy in the creation of the world. The foundations of the earth, as the foundations of the earth were laid, it says, Wisdom was there and it rejoiced. You know who wisdom is? Jesus Christ is wisdom. Jesus Christ is wisdom. Jesus Christ is life. Jesus Christ is the creator. Jesus Christ is the one who gives life and he takes life. Jesus Christ is the one who wounds and he heals. Jesus Christ is the one who opens the womb and he closes the womb. Jesus Christ is the one who spoke to the wind and the waves and they obeyed him. I tell you in Japan, Jesus Christ spoke to the wind and the waves and they obeyed him. Jesus Christ spoke to the earth and the earth trembled at his voice. This is what the Bible says. And one day, the Bible says that everything that can be shaken will be shaken in the heavens and in the earth. And all the things that you love, all the things that you trust in, all your gold and your silver and your idols, all your idols, the, the strong towers that men have built in the rebellion towards God, strong towers, oh, cities of industry that men have built in the rebellion towards God will all be shaken on that day. And on that day when everything that you have and everything that you trust in will be destroyed and the mountains will come down, they'll be flat, the valleys will rise up, and God will make a straight path for the coming of the Lord. And what will you do on that day? What will you do in that day? You're going to call upon, you're going to call upon your gold to save you in that day. You're going to call upon your silver to save you in that day. You're going to call upon your retirement account to save you from the wrath of God. You're going to call upon the government who doesn't love you, they love your money. You're going to call upon them to save you from the wrath of God. Yeah, most of you think you're going to do that. We we'll read about it here in Revelation. Jesus, when he comes back, Jesus, when he comes back, he's coming back, and he's going to a certain city. Yes, he's going to a certain city. He's going to Jerusalem. He's going to the very city that he was crucified in. He's going to that very city, and he's going to open up that gate that's been closed. It's been shut up that no man can enter in. Only the Messiah can enter into that gate. And he's coming back. And he says when he comes back, though, it says in that day, all the nations of the earth will be around Jerusalem. All the armies of, of the earth will surround Jerusalem. And there will be 